All right, we are sitting down here with Anne Marie, and we're talking about her time during uh, the RIP tour during Halloween Horror Nights 31. So, Anne Marie, what did you think of uh, your overall experience? Overall, the tour was 100% worth it. It was great being able to be guaranteed to see all the houses in one night. The intros that the tour guides give to explain what's going on in the houses, super beneficial for someone like me who is not really into horror movies. (laughs) And so a lot of the, especially ones that are based on films, usually go over my head because I don't really know the backstory of the movie to really understand what's happening in the houses. (laughs) Now, obviously we're looking through some of the food (laughs) offerings here at Cafe La Bamba. Uh, What do you think of like the kind of like the selection it was a very good selection like see i had like like cheese and crackers (laughs) some veggies um some sweets the ultimate halloween horror night snack pizza fries what about uh drinks uh they had uh soda and water that was that was included and i believe there was a cash bar but i didn't drink any alcohol um so obviously when you're out there in the park you're out there on your feet a lot. <laughs> um, like, what would you recommend to people that are going to do this tour? Definitely wear comfortable shoes. Um, no high heels. No, uh, <laughs> no, no shoes that will not withstand at least several miles of walking. Basically, any sh- any kind of shoes that you would wear in the park. And if it's a tour that's going to go on in the earlier frame of it like in the september time frame definitely be prepared to sweat so wear shorts and uh, you know bring probably a do rag tap the sweat away <laughs> um what was your favorite house this year i really liked the spirit of the coven house but i'm a big history person so like seeing like the 1920s was really cool um, and the Dead Man's Pier House was absolutely beautiful. And what about, uh, what was it, the uh, uh, Halloween Nightmare Fuel Wildfire? That I actually loved more than previous the previous show last year. Like, <clears throat> I felt the this year's show was a little bit more cohesive, and it felt like the story was easier to follow than even last year's show, but... It's a great show, and I'm really glad we had, like, the nice prime seating, because, like, when you're on the RIP tour, you get that nice center area that's reserved, so you have that nice straight-on view of it, and you're a little elevated, so, you know, you have, like, the overall the overall view, which was, like, the best seat of the house. And my last question is, if you could do something differently this year that you would bring over to next year, what would you do? Like, would you do something different? Like, going to an RIP tour? Oh, I mean, I would definitely do it again. Um, I feel like the RIP tour, since they've been going on for so long in general, like, you know, they've, I, I don't know how long they've been doing RIP versus Halloween Horror Nights, but the system that the VIP experience team has is pretty flawless the check-in process at la bamba was super easy um you had your reception with your food and your drinks and they had some scare actors um around that you could take pictures with and stuff then you went over to horror makeup show to be well i was on a non-private tour so to be grouped into your your group of people for the night and then the tour guide starts his tour or her tour and takes you around and I like the way my tour guide specifically tried to do all the houses up front first so we weren't like bouncing back and forth between the front and back of the park (laughs) well thank you so much Anne Marie for sitting down and talking about your experience during uh, the RIP tours at uh, Halloween Horror Nights you're welcome (laughs) 